Hello programmers! We've been talking about the standard template library container classes and we talked about the vector class. There's other classes, map, which is like an associative array or a Python dictionary uh, list. Um, there's all sorts of container classes where you can decide what kind of item you want to put in that container. And each of these classes have common operations that people perform on them. Finding a value in a collection, sorting, copying elements from one collection to another, uh, merging collections. Um, so imagine if each of these classes had to implement themselves a sort and a merge and a copy and a find and a search, we would have so many different functions out there. So even though traditionally in object-oriented programming, we've tried to combine the functionality with the object and the data members, this is one time we're, we're going to break that because we don't want to repeat so much similar code one time for every, vec or every container class out there. So instead, we have our container classes and there is a header algorithm that has those algorithms like sorting and searching that all of the container classes want to use. And the bridge in between the container classes and the algorithms is iterators because there's a way to iterate over every container class and the algorithms can use the iterators and that way they don't have to know about the implementation of the container class themselves in order to do their searching and sorting. Um, so they're just going to go through an iterator. So let's try an algorithm. I've got the algorithm header included and I've got, I'm going to comment this out first, I've got a vector. I'm initializing it with 24, 5, 6, and 99 and when I go ahead and run this then I'm going to see that using the iterator I'm going to go through starting at the beginning of the list all the way to the end of the list I'm going to be able to see that I've got those numbers 24, 5, 6, 99 in the order that I put them in the vector and that makes sense. But in the algorithms header, there is a sort function that we can call. And we need to know where we want to begin our sorting and where we want to end the sorting. So I'm just going to begin at the beginning of our vector and end at the end of our vector. And now when I run this, then I'm going to see that my vector has been sorted in place and it now contains the numbers from smallest to largest. Great. Um, how about using something other than integers, what about a user-defined data type? So I'm going to create a class called student and every student has a name and a GPA. So let's take a look at what that'll look like first. So we'll say we've got a student class and I've overloaded the insertion operator to make it really easy to print out the student data and I've got a constructor to construct a new student based on their name and their GPA and so in main instead of a vector of integers I would like to create a vector of students so I'll do that by creating three students I've got a student kit with a 3.5 GPA, Mary with 4.0, and my student Slacker that has a 2.0. So I'm going to put all those students into a vector of students called the variable name C, and I'll do that with the pushback function. So I'll push back one at a time all those students onto that vector. And then of course I can print out the students using an iterator. Alright, so I haven't done anything with any sorting yet, haven't used any algorithms, I'm just using the vector and the things in the vector, it's the order that you push something onto the vector. So if my Slacker student was the first one that I pushed onto the vector, that'll be the first one in when I print out what's in the vector. I next uh, put Mary onto the vector and that's the second thing inside and then last I've got Kit on the vector. So the order of the pushback matters. Now how would I call the sort function for a vector of students. Well, we'll still start with sort and we need to know where to start our sort and where to end the sort. Our vector is called C. I can try going to the beginning of that vector and the end of the vector to end sorting. This worked well for my integers, but when I try to compile this now, there's going to be an issue. And the issue is and I'm not even going to show the error message and talk about that because it's very hard to interpret it. But the issue is that we don't know 
how to tell one student is greater than another student. In fact, that sounds wrong to even say it that way. Um, there is no built-in in the compiler, how do you compare two student objects? But behind the scenes, if you look at the documentation for the sort function, it says that the sort function uses the less than operator to do its work. So if the student class had an overloaded operator, uh, the less than operator, then it would be able to use the sort function with no problem. So we're going to build that and we're going to say, well, how do you compare two students? And it's up to interpretation how you t decide one student's better than the other student. And I'm going to say that a student with a higher GPA maybe will say that that student is greater than the first student. So I'll look at the GPA of the first student and is that less than the GPA of my second student? And we'll return whatever that result is. So it's going to return a Boolean true or false is the first student's GPA less than the second student's GPA. And then so each of the items that are in the vector behind the scenes, the sort is going to use this and, and figure out how to order those students. So I'll go ahead and run that. And I'm going to take a look at my students sorted by GPA. Now I see my slacker, then Kit, and then Mary. Well, it's not written st in stone that you have to compare students by GPA. What if instead we compared them by their name? Uh, alphabetical listing of the students. So we could say take the name field and see if that one's less than the other name. Uh, and the string class has a overloaded insertion operator so we can just do this. And then we're going to see the students are ordered alphabetically. We've got Kit, then Mary, and then Slacker. So if you want to use uh, the sort function from the algorithm header, then make sure that your object is able to use the less than operator, overload the less than operator. And I just talked about one of the many, many um, algor algorithms that are available in this header, and there are many other ones that are definitely worth checking out.